Hey everyone, Icy Mike here, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to Kyle is Famous. In another video, I'll go as to why it's been so long, but for now, let's enjoy this interesting looking game. It's kind of like a uh, choose your own adventure kind of thing. Kyle wakes up. He is famous. Kyle is the host of the popular talk show in recent memory, Stay Up Late with Kyle. Oh, I like, I like Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Uh, Stay Up Late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year, and the public has noticed. Inside has called Inside has called Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man. Interesting. Uh, Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring youth to explore STEM fields. Uh, the most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his per his personal details. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. The war the eye of the world is upon Kyle. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Stay up late with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She's kind and lovely philanthropist, right? Yes. Uh, she is dear to the hearts of many, and this interview requires preparation. Kyle's cracked his eyes open, knowing today is the last chance to prepare for the interview. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his actions wisely. All right, start preparing. Uh, Kyle's first decision in the morning was made wisely. Exit the bed, wither away. Hmm. Depends on how early he woke up, because if it's late night with Kyle, then he has all the time in the world. Wither away. Uh, Kyle decided to stay in bed and wither, stay put and wither away. Uh, Kyle withered, <laughs> withered successfully and died. Well, you know, I think that means that was a successful day, successful video. I've had fun, you guys, and thanks for chilling with Icy. Seriously, though, the video is much longer than that. A deathbed. Uh, this has multiple endings, and it appears I got one of such endings. Shucks. Kyle is a ghost now. Oh, that wasn't the end. My bad. Uh, Kyle is now a ghost. This does not re uh, relieve him of his responsibilities. Get out of bed anyway. Wow. This... Okay. And I have a little ghosty goo icon up here. Interesting. I'm a ghost now. <laughs> uh... Hang on, hang on, hang on. So the 27 hours haven't passed, and he withered away and died. He must be very unhealthy anyway, because, I mean, if I stayed an extra hour in bed, trust me, I would only be more voluptuous. Um, but apparently if Kyle stays in bed too long, he just dies. Uh, Kyle exited his bed, although being a ghost, and took a quick glance around his bedroom. Hmm. Well... What would a ghost do? Probably go into the closet. Uh, Kyle opened the closet. It was dark, and he could only really see his hanging shirts. Mm. Back to the bedroom. Uh, return to the center of the bedroom. Oh, that takes away time as well. Open the closet. Back to the bedroom. Open the closet, back to the bedroom, open the closet, back to the bedroom. I don't know how, you know, I don't know if I'll do all of the endings here, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing this ending for sure. Now, I'm curious if there is an alternate ending for you being a ghost and doing it this way and the normal way. Hmm. Dot, dot, dot. Kyle hurried to the set. Per normal, he ceased to be a ghost before rev uh, arrived. Who? What? He? Who? Who? What? <laughs> he just ceased to be a ghost. He's just. He's just no longer. He just, I'm not a ghost anymore. Sitting across from his host chair was a gorgeous woman with the air of uh, genu genuinity. Genuinity. Uh, as Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. 
Rachel smiley tur- smiled, quickly turned as she realized it was a g- 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 ghost. No, uh, as she turned, shocked to realize he hadn't put on clothes that day. He waved and smiled broadly. She uncomfortably inverted her eyes. I mean, when all eyes are on Kyle, you go bare and natural. In fact, I'm kidding. Nobody wants to see that. I'm not taking off my clothes. Uh, he started making his rounds around the room, greeting each other crew member, none of whom looked at him directly. Uh, as it became apparent that Kyle had no intentions of leaving, Rachel made some excuses and exited the set. One by one, the crew followed suit. Kyle was left alone. Kyle prepared for by being a nudist. <laughs> and a confident one at that. I mean, what a long way to be confident. Okay, so the ghost ending was actually an ending. I thought that was going to be an ending. Maybe there's a secret ending with the ghost. Um, like a 20 second ending. But uh, we're going to try again. Um, we're actually going to just get out of bed. We don't need to be ghosts uh, this morning. Uh, scavenge, sit at the desk. Um, what would I do in the morning? Well, I'd probably take a shower if I was just butt-ass naked, which apparently is how he sleeps. I, I can't do that. I gotta wear at least shorts. Um. Alright, so we're gonna open the closet and we're actually gonna put on some clothes. He decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit, knowing how important the appearance was. Ooh. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Everyone ignore all of the other options. The first thing, first thing I saw... Suit of armor. I'm not even going to look at the other options. Suit of armor. Uh, Kyle was unsure of exactly what cost him to decide to wear his armor. Um, albeit, why does Kyle have the armor? Uh, but it felt like the right thing to do. Uh, after much squeezing and uh, s- squeezing and sweating, Kyle managed to wrap the metal suit around his dumpy self. Back to the room. He returned to the center of the bedroom. I'm now wearing armor. Oh, a ghost in armor? That'd be kind of cool. Um, my question, uh, briefly, if you don't mind. Uh, what happens if... Uh, what, uh, what? You see, here's the issue with these games, is I never want to play the games normal. It's kind of like the Stanley Parable, where you have like these branching paths, but I never want to actually do the main path, which would be getting dressed, and I guess doing the rest of the things. Um... Yeah, so my Dark Souls instincts, as terrible as they were, tell me when you put on a suit of armor, you're going to want to scavenge. Uh, he quickly crouched down the floor and realized he me- his immediate need for... Uh, bugs? He started picking between the fuzz and his carpet, hoping to catch a few straight... A beetle or two. Beetles are huge, dude. If there is beetles hiding in your carpet, oh my god. Uh, Suit, he had a small handful of various insects, and dead and alive. I mean, I saw the safe for later use. But they are high in protein. Safe for later. He stashed the wiggling mass for use later. What are you doing, Michael? What are you, I see what, what's going through your mind right now. Why don't you just play the game normal? Uh, he returned to the center of the bedroom. Now with a pocket full of bugs and armor on, might as well sit at the desk. Uh, made his way over to his desk and sat down. Uh, write notes for the interview. That makes sense, but we're going to check the desk drawer. He opened the side drawer on his desk and grabbed uh, one of the items stored there. Assorted change, a small key. Ooh. Keys are good for dungeons. Uh, back to the desk. Check the drawer. Grab some change, too. Just grab all the goodies. We're going to have as much crap in this armor suit pockets as we can. Back to the room. Um, exit the bedroom. Walked into a small hallway that connects the rooms to his apartment together. Check the, check the locked door. Yes. Walked over the strange door in the hallway, but found the door was locked. Ooh. Wait, I have a key. But I, but I have a key, though. Let me use the key. Uh, forced the door open. The door had decided it would be best to try to force the door open using his face. He's got armor on. After smashing features into solid wood for several minutes, Kyle gained a severe short-term amnesia. All right. Walked to the hallway and connected rooms to the apartment. Moved to the kitchen. Moved to the bedroom. 
Man, it takes him a long time to go anywhere. Uh, I mean, if I were banging my head on a door, it would not take me an hour to do unless I passed out from the pain and then came back into it. Hmm. Hmm. I could F off to the bedroom, but I'm just going to leave. He walked into the middle of the road and took a long, pondering look around. Visit tech store. Visit downstairs neighbor. He approached his downstairs neighbor and knocked. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door, and she looked at him, at Kyle, expectingly. Greet and start a conversation. A good morning, neighbor, said Kyle cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle, expectingly. Ask Gabby about Gabby. You know, people don't ask enough about Gabby. You know, they're they're busy with their lives. They're They're doing their own thing. It's a holiday season. It's time to ask Gabby about Gabby. Gabby, tell me about yourself. Oh, no time for that. I gotta get going, Gabby. I've got no hours left. Gabby stiffened. Oh, you know. She put on a fake smile. Just sitting around here. Later, Gabby. Uh, sitting across from his host in his chair was a woman with an air of genuinity. He approached her and she smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said as she looked at him. I've been looking forward to being here. He responded. Forgot her name from the amnesia. <clears throat> Oopsie doopsie. Hello. Uh, are you? Kyle's ears began to ring from his concussion. Uh, she looked at, at Kyle, slightly confused, but continued smiling. Before she noticed a gaze look in a glazed look in Kyle's eyes, and the producer approached. Uh, time to get started, he said, and put a hand on Kyle's shoulder. Let's get stationed. Kyle sat in the nearest chair. Rachel, uh, Rachel, her seat stolen, sat in the host chair. Kyle, work with me, buddy. Whip out your bugs and throw them at the lady. Come on. <laughs> I'm surprised this game doesn't have more sound, because their audio stuff is great, but, like, this in-between, I'm gonna have to, like, I see, figure out how to re remember, because it's been a while, how to put in uh, music or something in this in this stuff. A moment after seating, the studio lights brighten and the cameras clicked on. Let's start the broadcast. Good morning, everyone, said Kyle. My name is... Uh, Kyle made a desperate effort to remember his name or anything, really. Uh, Kyle looked at Rachel. Do you know who I am? Uh, he asked. Rachel looked back confused. Uh, who are you? Well, if you're not Kyle, I don't know who you are. Rachel smiled sweetly. He m made up his mind that he was probably Kyle. Well, um... I am Kyle. <laughs> Eventually, Rachel spoke again. Um, and I'm Rachel. Hi, everyone, she waved. Uh, Hi, Rachel, said Kyle. Oh, why are you here? Rachel looked visibly worried. <laughs> Funny. Uh, were you planning on asking me any questions? I mean, I don't have any ideas. He kept staring at Rachel. Someone coughed and Kyle looked around and noticed the crew. Uh, who on earth are all of you? He asked. Nobody answered. Kyle got out of his chair and walked off frame, leaving Rachel alone with the millions of viewers. Rachel started to attempt to entertain the audience herself. Eventually, the producer ended the broadcast early due to technical issues. Kyle woke up in his bed the next day, remembering nothing about what had happened. Kyle forgot everything. Oh, looky! I unlocked 2 out of 21. Delightful. Uh, let's return to the menu, because I just want to... Oh, they'll get all the places you can share it, check it out, discord it. Um, be sure to do that endings. No clothes, had amnesia. Alright, let's try to play. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put on our, our, our smarty smarts, and we're gonna try to actually do this correctly all right so we're gonna exit the bed okay we're gonna go to the closet and we're gonna choose a nice outfit jeans and swimming goggles mm. i want you no no we're gonna be good we're gonna put on a nice slick suit Kyle uh, miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. The chest pockets were filled with random knickknacks. Back to the room. He returned to the center of the bedroom. Okay, I'm not going to scavenge for bugs uh, this time as I get my hand all in front of the camera. Uh, 
We're going to sit at the desk, and we're going to write some notes for the interview. He wrote down his first question. Are you a mother? Am I a mother? Is your mother... <laughs> Michael, no, play, play it right. Play it right. Oh, please, play it right. Don't ask if her mother is a mother. Oh, even if it's pretty funny. That's a pretty funny question. I think that's hilarious. Is your mother... That would confuse the shit out of me, too. Like, if somebody was like, Hey, let me ask you a personal question. Is your mother a mother? All right, be smart. All right. Oh, are you a mother? Ah, uh, that... That's not a smart question, though. Um... Ever eaten a, a raw egg hole? <sighs> mm, there's so many questions. Uh, what are some diet tips? What's your funniest story? Do you, do you ever smile? Um, that's not even a question. I purposely ran over a puppy. It's not even a question. Well, what's your funniest story? What's your guilty pleasure? Are you guilty? All right, all right. So that seemed, that seemed like a good line of questioning. Um, let's go back to the room. Uh, let's exit into the hallway. Let's move to the kitchen. Open the fridge. Um, eat condiments. Ooh, gotta be strong. Gotta be strong. Uh, eat the crust on the fridge wall. Eat the fridge. Wow. I feel like that would take more than an hour. Let's prepare a nice breakfast. He constructed a breakfast of poached eggs and toast, along with a small fr fruit cup and grilled sausage. Let me smash. Uh, eat. Well, uh, he ate. Uh, I don't like that. Which is funny because I do that to my friends all the time while I'm eating stuff while talking to them on Discord, but that was gross. He ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying every bite uh he felt refreshed all right return to the kitchen um uh, back into the hallway um leave the apartment uh visit tech store he walked into the clean white tech store he was greeted by techno gym the elaborate cutout mascot with flashing lights um Ask for free samples. Uh, he asked the attendant whether or not they'd offered free samples to important customers. The attendant gave Kyle a confused and slightly vacant look. He began to beg for free samples. I wanted to do this like a normal human person. Why? All right. One and Kyle to leave. The attendant grabbed a discreet phone meant for spare parts and held it out. Uh... Grab with teeth. <sighs> yeah, why not? At this point, <laughs> Kyle firmly clamped his mouth around the outstretched phone, creating several teeth holes in the screen. Uh, Kyle grunted and yanked with his head until the attendant let go of the phone. The Kyle, the phone was now Kyle's to use forever. Back to the shop. He walked. He walked to the clean white tech store. He was greeted. Wait, walked into. Wait, I went back. Give a review for free sample. This phone, he said, is several years old and has exposed wires coming out the back. He continued, the phone has also had the screen issues after I used a hammer and nails, as I used it to hammer nails on the wall for painting. I wanted to do this like a normal human. Please don't let this affect my interview. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with air of humanity. Uh-huh. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here, Kyle responded. Scream and spin in circles. I answered politely. As am I, Rachel. Uh, he extended his hand for the greeting. You are the most welcome guest. Shake hands. Uh, after other mild exchange pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompt to take their places for the broadcast. Start the broadcast. Uh, good evening, everyone, he said. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Uh, Kyle looked into the camera. Welcome back to the Stay Up Late with Kyle. 
Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Uh, he motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we do have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in. Very well, I'm ready, she said with a winning smile. Uh, he produced the notes he had taken from earlier. Are you a mother? So tell us. <laughs> tell us. What's your funniest story? You've been involved in a lot of different things, but what's your funniest story? Oh, that's a great question, Kyle, she said. Uh, I think the story I always remember was the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. Oh, I bet some hijinks ensued. Uh, in the soup I made, uh, I swapped out water with milk and tipped a whole jar of salt in the pot. Uh, while my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swiped their things and locked myself in my room. She laughed elegantly. Kyle decided to move on. This girl's just as crazy as you are. Are you a mother? Rachel, um, I and many others in the world would love to know. Are you a mother? He looked up from his notes. Well, being a single woman with a career, she answered. That's not something that's crossed my mind. Rachel smiled, uh... Genuinely at Kyle. Very reasonable indeed, he said, and referred to his paper questions. Ask another question. What's your guilty pleasure? Ooh, well, that's an easy answer. Dipping pickles in chocolate sauce. I like pickles. I like chocolate sauce. Not not much in combination. It might sound strange, but it's a tangy sweet and all at the same time. I eat it far too often, she smiled sweetly. Uh, ask another question. Oh, well, what are some dieting tips? Because obviously you keep a fantastic figure, given that you eat nothing but pickles and chocolate. Uh, Rachel, you managed to keep such a healthy, thin figure. What's your best diet tip? A uh, good diet starts with a plan. And don't break it. Cheat days can turn into a habit. But that doesn't mean a midnight snack in here, here and there isn't allowed. <laughs> he looked at his flabby self and decided in no comment and moved on. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. Uh, if that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? She smiled one more time. Do you prefer your interviews in advance? Because you seem very together. Or do you prepare for your interviews in advance? Because you seem very together. Before he could answer, the cameras shut down and the broadcast is over. He returned home knowing the interview had gone well. But he lay in bed, drifted asleep, and felt perhaps something was still missing. Prepared very well. Interesting. I like that one. That was, that was a cute ending. But she had her own kooky corks, you see. I stole things. Hmm. Hmm. Return to the main menu. Now, uh, you guys, uh, before I do all of the endings, uh, which I'll do one more ending for you guys. We'll, 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 we'll have some fun with it. But uh, go try this game for yourself. It is a blast, obviously. I'm having fun with all these kooky choices. I really don't know where any of them can go. I mean, considering I turned myself into a ghost earlier. Um, but, you know, uh, Kyle is famous. Great. Go try it. It's free on Steam. That's the other thing. It's, it's you know, a great guy. Uh, John... Semansky, I think is how you say his name. Uh, Creed, you know, is, is, is you know made it or what have you, and it's it's fun. So, um, I the only only complaint so far is that through the entirety of the game, the opening title sequence has a gorgeous musical number, and obviously the broadcast stuff has a little bit of music in it, and it's real nice. But from that, it's just dead. It's just dead quiet. Browse social. <gasps> oh, I can legit use this phone forever. Mmm, the plot thickens. Well, let's uh, let's delve down this rabbit hole and see what we find. Browse social media. He started scrolling through the news and articles on his phone, reading articles. Stay up late with Kyle, ranked number one and number two show on television. 
read more. Uh, New East Bridge begins construction after found to not actually exist. Authorities investigating. Okay. Uh, another grand larceny of the crime of spree. Uh, another grand larceny in the crime spree streak. Evidence points to a perpetrator fleeing the country. Uh, Rachel Ray to expectantly leave the country on a very, very long vacation. Wait a minute. She's a thief. Oh, so okay. Now here's the question. If I steal stuff, I get in with her. You know, I get up in her head and I talk about how we steal stuff. All right. All right. So Rachel may be expecting to leave the country very, very long vacation after tonight's interview. So, okay. Noted. I'm going to waste one more hour. Who is the bug vigilante? Recent spotted pursuing the Larsons. Uh-huh. So she's okay. Okay. So she's on the run from bugs and she steals stuff from her family. Okay. So, oh, wow. This, okay. Suddenly, mm, suddenly this got interesting. Uh, read more. Kyle fails to show up to several charity events. The bug vigilante shows up to charity events with fresh baked pastries. Donation flourished. Hot dogs make resurgence as fuel source for humans and tugboats. All right. Get out of bed. Let's go sit at the desk real quick and write notes for interview. Um, I feel like that's going to be like a secret code. Are you a mother? Some dining tips. Funniest story. Are you guilty? Back to the desk. All right. Back. Small key. There was a small key in the desk and some spare change. Let's go back to the room. Um, scavenge. Uh, needed for resources. Let's go for bugs. All right. Save them for use for later. All right. Uh, ba -ba. Head to the bedroom. Let's leave the apartment. Let's go to the tech store. Steel Techno Gym. Find Techno Gym card bolt, bolt to the ground. He started to pull more forcefully. I didn't put on any clothes. No. Well, this is going to end the interview quickly. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. <sighs> Browse social media. Do I actually need to read this though? Like, do I actually need to get to this point? All right. So let's open the closet. Choose an outfit. Skunk. Pasty. Um, let's go with the slick black suit. Uh, now uh, let's scavenge for bugs. Save for later use back to the bedroom, exit into the hallway, leave the apartment, visit the tech store, steal techno gym. Yep. Yep. Uh, several tugs. He broke free, leaving one foot and one leg behind. Uh, continue with the day, return to the apartment, move into the kitchen, check the pantry, found it was locked with a small keyhole, ah, oh, that's how I get into the pantry, okay. Sorry guys, I know I'm skipping through dialogue and stuff like that, but it's like suddenly there's a mystery to unravel and we're, we're gonna, we're gonna try to unravel it, um. move to the kitchen ah, I just I just uh, eat the fridge all right let's get to the set across uh, host chair is glamorous woman approach Rachel interview techno gym instead that's tempting it's tempting uh, answer politely shake hands Start of the broadcast, more. 
more, more. Some combination of stress and preparation and not eating anything, he's passed out. Nobody in the studio knew what to do with him. They began to poke Kyle and see if he would move. After a while, they ended the broadcast, shut off the lights, and went home. Kyle's left with his face on the floor. Kyle prepared by starving himself. Yay! Not the ending at all that I meant to go for. Oh! Well, I'm a big dummy dumb. All right, guys. Well, we've had some fun here today, uh, I believe. I mean, personally, I was having fun. Hopefully, you guys did as well. Um, we're going to... Uh, we're going to reset. We're going to go again. We're going to go again. Browse social media. I think... I might not actually have to browse social media. I think this is just for information. Uh, bug vigilante, um, mobile phone recall, techno gym, store blames overuse by customers. Oh, exploded in his hand from overuse. Okay. I'm going to exit because I want to restart. Kyle's famous. Okay. Um, so let's, so we've already browsed social media. So I think I got all of the information from that. So basically I think I have to dress up like the bug vigilante show up to the interview and basically get her to uh, just basically get her to um, admit to what she did, I think is the goal here. Um, so we're going to exit bed. Um, we've got to put on clothes. So we're going to go with the slick suit because that one gets her actually talking. We're going to sit at the desk. We're going to check the desk drawers, and we're going to... There's a flashlight. What am I doing to open certain certain dialogue things? Flashlight. Let's take the small key. Check the desk drawer for the flashlight. But after a jiggle of switch, you found out it was out of batteries back at the desk. Back to the room. Scavenge for resources. You began to comb through and damp. Piles of filth and mold. Ugh. Ew. After finding and eating a few bits of crumbs of old cheese, he found something much more important. Indeed, it was the corpse of Harry, a friend who had gone missing years ago while at Kyle's house. What? He was glad to see him again, but was unsure of whether to interrupt such an important day with Harry business. Let's uh, leave Harry... Could wait for another day and politely <laughs> what the hell this game took such a turn all right let's go back god what the hell i was just oh man um all right so back to the bedroom we're gonna go into the kitchen and we're gonna open the fridge and he's got to prepare a breakfast eat it return to the kitchen check the pantry unlock with the small key as if it hadn't moved for years, but opened eventually. Look at the pantry. Instead of assorting canned goods, he found a massive amount of bottled lard. Chug the bottle of lard. Grab the bottle of lard. Uh-huh. Back to the kitchen. Ah, but I... Mm, mm. Answer politely. Uh-huh. Shake hands. Need no more introduction. Hello, I'm Kyle. Well, let's dive right in, shall we? Yep. Dive right into this bottle. <laughs> Pulled out a bottle of lard, bit off the top, and chugged it. This body rejected the lard and began to spew chunks of lard and disgusting fluid in every direction. Everything within a foot radius was immediately covered, including Rachel. He continued to vomit. Rachel barely fought to stay seated amidst the vomit, hoping to save the show from disaster. Fortunately, unfortunately, Kyle's vomit had covered the cameras and there was no broadcast. He finished spewing eventually. The broadcast was not recoverable. All present were sent home to try again another day. As Kyle got home, he made a mental note to refill his lard supply. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we're gonna dive right in his bottle. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, <laughs> oh man! All right. 
exit the bed, sit at the desk, check the desk drawer, find a flashlight, back to the desk, write the interview notes, is your mother a mother, um, ever eaten an egg raw, uh, what's your funniest story, are you guilty, back to the desk, back to the room. Open the closet. It was dark. Ah, oh, that's right. Damn it. Mm, that's not good. Uh, hmm. Scavenge for gossip. <laughs> Firmly pressed his ear to the carpet, hoping to hear some words from neighbors below. I heard Rachel May is going on a trip out of the country soon. Oh, girlfriend, tell me more. Well, uh, what I will tell you is that every night I've done, I don a mask that looks like a bug and fighting misdoers. What? Uh, there was a stunned silence, then the door opened and exited the neighbors. That's quite enough. We returned to the center of the bedroom. Exited the bedroom, the hallway. Leave the apartment. There's a downstairs neighbor. Con consume Gabby? What? He unhinged his jaw and swallowed Gabby whole. Job done. Kyle returned to the middle of the street. He walked into the middle of the road. Okay, so I ate. At least returned to the apartment. Returned to the bedroom. Open the closet. Choose an outfit. Oh my god. What is this game? What is this game? Oh, I didn't put on clothes. I'm completely naked. Alright guys, well... That's the several- that's- we have several times now gotten the... Naked ending. Um... We had some fun with this one. I know I did. Uh, go check it out. It is free. Go find the different endings. Tell me what endings you guys find. Collaboratively, we'll figure this one out. Um, I might come back to it if you guys like it. Um, if you guys want to see more episodes, I might play it on my own time and just kind of try to figure out some of these endings and stuff like that. But um, Kyle is famous. It's a blast. It's a real simple game, um, but it's real, real fun. So that's going to be it for me. Glad you guys uh, joined me for this one. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, more videos coming up soon. I am trying to do a nice little Christmas special for you guys. Like a little 12 days of Christmas kind of thing. Uh, it's going to be starting on Thursday. So hopefully you guys will join for that. And of course, thanks for chilling with Icy.